Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial what we're going to look at is accessibility in regards to a website. So uh, when creating a we website you need to understand the importance of making your web products or your website accessible to people with visual impairments and things like that. So or if for example if someone's computer isn't working or images ain't loading what you can do to make them ac accessible so someone can still look at that website without having any um, uh, concerns in terms of or any um, problems to their eyes or have any have to squint just to read text or if it's text is too bright here's an example of a website that I've created and as you can see I've got these colors like this blue this lime green the red now these are colors that you should really avoid using in a website because currently um, you obviously can't see it but I'm actually squinting my eyes a little because these colors are so bright that it's actually affecting my eyes. Now, someone who's got uh, visual impairments or eyesight problems, this can cause a problem. So, uh, what you need to do is you need to avoid using color combinations such as red and green on your websites, or even this blue or yellow, these colors. I know whenever someone hears the word red, straight away, this is the first red that comes to their head. And as you can see, or you probably notice when you actually do your website, this um, red is really bright and it can hurt the eyes obviously and also with this logo it doesn't go now I'm not saying don't use red at all you can use red but you need to use a more pastel -y or more uh, uh, dark or lighter shade of uh, not lighter but a more neutral type of um, red so what we can do here now if we go to our CSS now where did I do the red the red was in the top section wasn't it Okay, so instead of doing red, what we can do is click on here the color, and go to our red section, and we can use a lighter shade, more of pink, more towards the pink. If you don't want that, uh, in, uh, okay, you can go closer to it. So if we try this one out now, enter. Now if we look at that, oops, that didn't work because didn't put the color in correctly. Oops, sorry, there's a, should be a, a semicolon, sorry. Okay, now if we look at a red, okay, we've got red there, however, it's more of a calm color, it's not too bright. Like now, if you notice, this um, green color is shining up a lot more. The reason is, is because it's too bright. Yes, some uh, websites or some things may say, let's use um, green color. But try avoiding these types of colors. So if we try changing this color from lime green, once again, if we want green, okay, we can go to the green. Okay, let's get a more softer color green. Okay, so something like that. Semicolon it. Uh, do the same color over here. Okay, so now that's more of a dark green. It's not too in my face. It's not too bright. So another thing, let's look at this blue. Now, you can clearly see that text does not go on that blue. It is really um, making my eyes squint. That blue is just too bright. So what, once again, you need to find a color that represents. Okay, uh, most people, if you don't, sometimes you might want to use blue. You don't need to, you don't have to use blue. What most websites do, which we'll look at in a bit, is look at softer um, gray types of different types of um, gray colors uh, so what we're going to do we're going to change this to blue just for now actually let's just do the gray color so here's a different gray color it's not fully gray it's not white but it's a good color and if we check that now if we refresh that notice you've got the gray background you've got the HN, the white text is still showing up it's much clear even the text you can see it it's much crisper now Okay, so, so now you can just uh, stick to these um, neutral colors. So this yellow as well, we could change that yellow. Really, uh, we don't even need yellow. We can just make the background white, to be honest. Um, where we go, background, change that to white. Okay, and see, once again, that website. Now, if we, like I said to you earlier, if we look at um, the reason for this gray color, okay, neutral color, try keeping it as neutral, as simple as possible. Okay, uh, brighter colors you may think it looks good you may think it looks cool but it's not going to be really um, suitable for all types of users now if I look at this BBC website as you can see 
Um, they've used a lot of white. They've used greys. Um, the occasional blue once in a while. Occasional background. But re remember, keep it simple. Keep it white. You don't have to have a fully coloured website to make your website suitable and accessible. Okay, we go to another one. Let's try Sky Sports. Okay, these are big uh, top uh, websites. See, exactly the same here. Grey um, containers, white background. Simple with just um, blue occasional banners, even text. Text is visible on there as well. So remember to stick to these simple uh, websites, simple colors. You don't have to go out there um, with high contrasting colors, especially with text. Text needs to be visible. Okay, so that's um, the first part of accessibility. Another part of accessibility is an alternative text for the images. So now, currently, these images, you can see them. Now, for some reason, for whatever reason, I'm just going to delete them out of my folder. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Uh, PNG, yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to delete this image out of my folder. And what happens if I refresh this? It comes out with this broken picture. Now, I don't know what that broken picture is. So if I can't access images on my computer, I still want to know what those images are. So this is where alternative text comes into play. Now, after you've done image SRC, what you type in is ALT. So that's alternative. And then you put the text. So that would be a logo. So that's what that image is. Now, if I refresh that, you see now the word logo has appeared. So it's telling me this is what is in this block. So if I didn't have that, like this one, I wouldn't know what that image is. I wouldn't know where to start. But because I've got the word logo here now, it tells me that is a picture of a logo. So that's another thing that you need to consider when making your website accessible. Now the final thing that we're going to look at is um, the scalability of fonts. Okay, as you can see, this is the text that we've got on our screen. Now if I go to my um, style sheet, okay, currently it's either done it as 18 pixels or 18 uh, pt now 18 pixels as you know um, if you've done units in the past in terms of bitmap and vector images as you know pixel is like a dot so the more dots you have now when you um, the dot sorry in terms of the dots if you increase or the size of that text um, the text will become pixelated now what we need to do has to have scalable fonts now scalable fonts is an em so instead of PT, you have EM. So the EMs are known as scalable fonts. I'm going to do one EM for now. And now if I refresh that text, okay, the text has gone small because it's only one EM. Now one EM is equivalent to 12 pixels. So in terms of font size, that's 12 pixels, uh, tw uh, size 12. Now to get 18 pixels, what we need to do is 1.5 EM. Okay, now that text has gone back to normal. Now, if you see, if we see, increase this font now, now I can make that font as big as I want, and I cannot see any pixels in there at all. Okay, so reduce that size back to normal. Uh, once, as you can see, there's no pixels in there at all, because the reason is I've used scalable fonts. So all websites, you need to make sure that you use scalable fonts. So one EM, so if I wanted 24 pixels, that would be two EM, and so on. So let's, um, based on your maths, you can work out how much the three EMs will be. Okay, three EMs will be 12 times three, which is 36. So two EM, that will make that size 24, etc. If I wanted to do uh, 24, if I wanted to do 30 uh, pixels, I'll do 2.5 EM. Hopefully that font size changes. Yep, there you go. So that font size is changing now accordingly. But I don't want it that one. Let me just take it back to 1 EM. Okay, now we're going back to normal. Okay, so guys, that's everything you need to know about accessibility. And when you create your website, you need to make sure you do all of these things um, to make your website accessible for visually impaired uh, users of your website so let's just recap on what we need to do you need to avoid using color combinations such as red or green or bright colors uh, you need to avoid high contrast between text and background remember when I had my te blue text and this black sorry my black text and this uh, blue background it was very contrasting and it was very bright especially the blue and it made it hard for that black to be visible 
you need to add alternative text so once again recap alternative text so after the image you must have alt and then equals and then whatever the text is of that image now if you've been using let me just um, forgot to mention earlier if you've been using Dreamweaver like I have you've noticed underneath it actually um, tells you that you've got an alternative text missing so that's very useful if you're using Dreamweaver where it actually hints you and reminds you that you need to include alternative text if you've seen this before and not known what it is well now you do well, it, when, it, when you have this error appear it means you need alternative text for each of your images and the final thing that we looked at was scalable text so any font size whether it's for font size okay for image size EM EM will increase 1 EM is equivalent to 12 pixels 2 EMs will make it 24 etc etc so one uh, that's scalable font is actually the size you would the property you would use is 1 EM instead of pixels or PT okay so that's accessibility for you